Now we're going to start lesson one, the very first lesson of chapter uh, topic seven, finding areas of parallelograms and rhombuses. So in this lesson, we'll be able to use what we know about areas of rectangles to find areas of parallelograms um, and rhombuses. Let's look at solve and discuss it. Sophia, hi Sophia, drew the grid below and plotted the points A, B, C, and D. Connect point A to B, B to C, C to D, and D to A. Then find the area of the shape and explain how you found it. Using the same grid, move points B and C four units to the right. Connect the points to make a new parallelogram A, B, C, D. What's the area of the shape? So let's first connect the dots. Okay, we're going to connect A to B. A to B, B to C. And then C to D. and then D to A. There we go. And then what do we do? And then we're gonna find the area of the shape. So let's find the area of the shape. First, how do you figure out the length and the width? We're gonna count these blocks. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this is worth 12 units. And then how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 units. So the area of the rectangle is 12 times 19, which is 228 square units. Okay. And then what do we do? We're gonna find the area of the shape and explain how you found it. We just did um, using the same grid. We're gonna move parts B, points B and C four units to the right. Okay, we're just gonna move B and C. So B from here goes one, two, three, four. Now this is the new B. One, two, three, four, and this is the new C. And then, we're going to connect the points for the new points and the original points and say, hey, we have a new shape here. Can we find the area for these ones now? Okay. So then we still have the base 19 units. How do we find an area of a parallelogram? You figure out the height, right? And you multiply base times height. And that was width times length, length times width, right? But base times height is the same as the original length and width of the rectangle that we just looked at, right? So that's uh, base is 19 and then height is 12 units. So it's still going to be 228 units square. Ooh, what does that say? What is the area of the shape? It's the same, right? So what do we know? The rectangle and the um, parallelograms, all type of parallelograms, 
that have the same um, dimensions have the same areas, okay? So let's think about that. Focus on math practice. How can you find the area of any parallelogram? How do you find it? You can multiply the base and the So the area of the right triangle inside the parallelogram is the same as the area of the right triangle inside the rectangle, if you notice. So do you notice this triangle? That's the same as this triangle area, right? So then, if you really think about this, this triangle is the same as that triangle. So you subtracted this triangle, but added this triangle, which means there's no difference in the area, right? So that's why the areas are the same. If you move two points, the same units, and the area is gonna stay the same, okay? So let's look at the next page. We're gonna think about how we can use the area formula of a rectangle to find the area formula of a parallelogram. So example one, we're gonna find the area formula of a parallelogram. So look at the parallelogram below. If you move the triangle to the opposite side like that, how can you find the area of a parallelogram? So if you cut the parallelogram in a perpendicular line over here, and then you move it over here and you make a rectangle, then you're gonna figure out the length and the width which is the same as the base and the height over here, okay? So then your area of any parallelogram is base times height. So let's see if you can figure out the area of this parallelogram. Find the area of this parallelogram. Area of a parallelogram is base times height. So seven times 4.5, can you multiply that out? What do you get? Seven times four is 28, but seven times 0 0.5 is 3.5. So 28 plus 3.5 is 31.5. So the area of the par parallelogram is 31.5 centimeters square. So make sure that you have for the area, so for the length, if it's centimeter, area is going to be centimeter square and volume is going to be centimeter cube because you multiply centimeter twice for the area and then three times for the volume. All right, convince me. Compare the area of this parallelogram to the area of, the, of a rectangle with a length of seven and a width of 4.5. Is it going to be the same? Yes. The area are equal, the areas are equal because area of a rectangle is width length times width, which is equal to seven times 4.5, which is equal to 31.5 centimeters square as well. All right, so it's gonna be the same. All right, let's look at the next page. Example two, finding area of a rhombus. Rhombus is also a type of parallelogram. So in order to find the area of a rhombus, you can use the same formula for a parallelogram, okay? So rhombus has e four equal sides. They don't have to be right angle like a rectangle does, but all the sides are equal. So a rectangle plus a rhombus together, they're going to make a square. Four right angles, four same size would be a square, right? But rhombus is just four right, four, four same sides, okay? So you can use the formula for the area of a parallelogram, base times height. Base is 3.8, height is 3. 
So I'll multiply that and you'll get the area of 11.4, okay, centimeter square. Don't forget the unit. Example two, finding the base or height of a parallelogram. What if they tell you the area and they want you to find a base or height? You have to use the formula. So area is equal to base times height. So if they tell, if you know area 72, you know the base, then how do you figure out the height? You divide 72 by 12, and that's gonna be six, okay? So if you know the area and you know uh, one other piece of information, you'll be able to figure out the other uh, piece of information, okay? So area here, 135. You have height, which is 15. So divide 135 by 15 to get nine. So if you multiply base and height, nine times 15, you get 135. So base is nine here. The height is six here. Okay, so find the missing information using the area equation. See if you can try this by yourself. Let's see if you can do this by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? So how did you find the area of this rhombus in part A? You multiply base times height. So 22.5 times 20 is going to be what? 450 millimeters squared. Okay, what about part B? The area of this parallelogram is 65 feet squared. What is the height? 13 times something is going to be 65. So use the area formula, base times height. And you know area, you know the base, what is height? Height is 65 divided by 13. And 65 divided by 13 is exactly five feet, okay? Check your answers, did you get it right? If you did, great job because that's the end of our lesson today. So let's look at key concept. You can decompose a parallelogram and compose a rectangle to find the area of a parallelogram or a rhombus. So that means decompose means you can cut a part and then put it somewhere else to um, make it into a rectangle. The formula for the area of a rectangle, A, um, is equal to L times W can be written as the formula area is equal to base times height to find an area of parallelogram or the area of a rhombus. So you should already know the area of a rectangle, but just remember area of the parallelogram is basically the same thing. You multiply the base and height, okay? All right, that was lesson 7-1, finding areas of parallelograms and rhombuses. We'll continue with lesson 7-2 in the next video, which is about solving triangle area problems. Ooh. All right, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.